I think the next one oh in between these sort of things all sort of naughty pranks we got up to uh, one was when the Nazi journal paper the Volkischer Beobachter we were allowed to have that newspaper it came into the camp and all the bits the Germans didn't want us to see were cut out but they didn't cut out a very very rude cartoon of our king and queen and it made me cross so I decided to have my revenge or our revenge Somebody had a rag doll. I don't know why or where it came from. But I acquired that and I made it a new face, that of Adolf Hitler. And I made his little uniform with his swastika armband and so on. And another uh, French prisoner had a birdcage. I think he once had a parrot. Probably somebody ate it, I should think. Uh, But I got this birdcage. And I strung the Führer up in the birdcage with a proper hangman's noose. And we smuggled it down on parade with a whole lot of chaps milling round me so that the Germans didn't see it. And when we dispersed, there it was in the yard. Because they were furious. Eggers mentions it in his book. He said it was a, a very cheap sort of insult against the Führer. But he didn't say anything about the Volkischer Beobachter that was tucked under Hitler's arm in the birdcage. That wasn't mentioned. They knew what it was for. There was another bit of fun we had. We had a nice little uh, handyman, electrician, civilian, little Villy. His name was Villy. And poor little Villy had thick glasses, a small stature, and I think probably he was despised by the Germans who were young Siegfrieds and in uniform. Poor little Villy wasn't up to it. And I think that little Villy rather liked us as much, if not more, uh, as he did the Germans. And we, we pulled his leg and he used to smile quietly. And one day... Little Villy came in to mend a broken window uh, in in the chapel place. It was a high window. And he came in with a, a ladder and a guard. He was never allowed in without a guard. The guard's job was to see that he didn't fraternise with the prisoners and also to see that the prisoners didn't nick any of his tools because... We would nick anything. We were wicked lot. Marvellous fun. Billy came in with this ladder, put it up against the wall, and the guard stood at the bottom of the ladder with his rifle. Billy went up the ladder, measured the broken window, came down and went out to to cut some glass. And there was the ladder and the guard standing at the bottom of it. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to nick a ladder? So quickly, one or two chaps, you know, I knew were the right boys for the job. Donaldson, you distract that guard's attention. Donaldson sat on the ground making all sorts of peculiar things with his fingers and so on. Absolutely ridiculous. Looked as if he was round the bend. And the guard stood there absolutely transfixed amazed at this carry-on. Meanwhile, chap called Bag Dickinson and I gently took the ladder away, took it to one of these spiral staircases, tried to get it up the staircase to hide it in the attics, and it wouldn't go round the bend in the, in the spiral. It was too long. So another fellow, Bush Parker, an Australian, he found one of our secret saws made from a gramophone spring and, and, and we cut three or four feet off the ladder and the rest of the ladder went up into the attic and I thought wouldn't it be fun to put the four feet back so we did the guard was still transfixed looking at Donaldson and we put the little bit of ladder back 
Willie came in with the glass, looked at the ladder, said to the guard, What's this? Look at the ladder! And that was the first he'd seen of it. And he, he was heard to say, My God, are the poltergeists round here. Little Willie went out to cheers and roars of laughter, and I swear little Willie was smiling. The guard went back to the guard room. Little Willie just went off to his workshop. I don't think he said anything. The guard dare not say anything. He would have been in such big trouble. We were expecting an enormous search. Nothing happened. 